What? Guys, look at this scene and show me where the blanket is. Show me where the freaking blanket is. Show me! I'll wait! Oh, there's no blanket? Okay, so what are we talking about? <sighs> You're joking. There's actually no way. I'm so sorry. I'm... It's Michaela, and welcome back to another Ace Attorney video. You guys, I am so freaking excited to be playing none other than Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All tonight because tonight we will finally be wrapping up the third case of the game, Turnabout Big Top. And listen, I know that the case we've been playing together for the past several weeks is arguably one of the most hated cases in the entire franchise. But you guys, Russell Berry deserves justice, okay? We have to figure out who murdered him and clarify that first off and why? Why did this man get killed? So if you missed the last video, honestly, stop what you're doing and go watch that one first because you're going to be thoroughly confused otherwise. But in the last video, we finally got Mr. Acro on the stand and he he gave us some tea. The theory is Acro is the one who killed Russell Berry, but not in the way that you think. He didn't come up behind Russell Berry and strike him in the head and then leave. He didn't fly away from the scene. This man apparently used a rope to drop down the wooden box that we found at the scene. And as Russell was bending over to pick the box up off of the ground, he releases a bust also attached to a rope, which clonks Russell Berry on the head, killing him. And the flying can apparently be explained by the fact that when the bust hit Russell Berry in the head, the cloak that Russell Berry had borrowed from Max hatched onto the bust. And then as he was lifting it back into the air, it appeared to be a human being flying away from the scene. That does explain the lack of footprints, but it is a little ridiculous. Honestly, it is, I, I will give it that. But that's the running theory we have, you guys. So in today's video, our job is to confirm that Acro was in fact the one that killed Russell Berry if he was, and why? What was this man's motive? Acro allegedly thought of Russell Berry as like a father figure to him. He felt he owed this man his life. So why kill him? We're about to find out. But before we get into the video, the candle of the day is Sage and Citrus by Yankee Candle. And oh my God, I feel like I say this every single time I use this candle, but this is one of my favorite scents of all time. Like I could just sit here and inhale this candle for hours. I pr I probably shouldn't do that though. Also in preparation for Princess Peach Showtime, which is another video game, I will be doing a playthrough here on my channel, which comes out later this month. I think I'm gonna pick up the Super Mario RPG videos and start putting two of those a week out to finish that game up. So I say all of that to say no soda today because I don't wanna run through them that fast. Instead, we have some good old H2O. Everybody drink your water, okay? Drink your water with me, we gotta stay hydrated. And without further ado, let's solve this mystery. Cheers. I feel like as much hate as this case got in my comment section, the next case, the final case of this game got equal amounts of the opposite. Like. Y'all have hyped up the fourth case of this game like I have never seen. So I am so eager to get into that, but we have to wrap this up first. So with that being said, episode three, Turnabout Big Top, part four dash two, trial. All right. Ooh, baby, I'm, I'm nervous. <sighs> okay. So it looks like we had our brief little recess. We're back in the lobby. I know, right, Max? Who would have thought? I'm shocked. Yeah, but like, he's a little too straightforward. Like, a lot of you guys commented on his demeanor in the trial last video, and it was just a little too perfect. Like, almost as if it was rehearsed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, Max, that's that's rough. That's a rough realization. Coming to terms with everybody just like, that's tough. It is. Uh, yeah, sounds, sounds like it. He did. He did, babes. So sorry. You know, Billy Bob Johns might be a little old nobody, but Maximilian Galactica, my king. 
be FFR. <laughs> like, be a little FFR for me, please. <laughs> Who is Ca Gumshoe? Gumshoe! What? What do you have? Oh my god? Gumshoe, what is wrong with you? Give me the evidence! Hello? What is going on? Okay. Not the milk again. Gumshoe. Yes, I insist. Hello? Oh my god. What is he gonna give me? Okay, that's blood. <gasps> the scarf! The scarf! The scarf. So this was... What's his name? Bat. This was Bat's scarf that Regina gave to him before he died. He was actually, well, not before he died. He's in, he's alive. He's just in a coma and has been for six months. But, you know, this was the scarf that Regina gave to him before he was injured, shall we say. So... That's weird. Okay. Take a look at it later. I'm gonna take a look at it now. Unless it's not here. Oh, it is! That scarf stained with his blood and a small quantity of pepper. You mean this pepper? You know what's really funny, you guys? This whole time, I 100% thought this was like... How do I say this on YouTube? I thought this was party favors, shall we say? Apparently it's just pepper. Who would have known? Okay. And another thing uh, that I was wondering is why did Acro just have a wooden box, an iron lined wooden box in his room with pepper in it? Like what, like Acro or Bat's pepper. You guys might recall, we learned a couple of videos ago that Bat used to tease Regina by making her sneeze with this pepper. So why was it kept in a locked wooden box? Weird. And yes, Francisca's going to be very upset. Okay. You know what, Gumshoe? I won't tell her if you don't, babes. Period. We are not really allies, or you and Francisca are not really allies? I'm hoping it's the latter. Because we're besties, Gumshoe. We're locked in. Huh. <laughs> Okay, who's our? Hmm. Okay, not the detective being super freaking ominous. What are you? Who's our? What are you talking about? Oh, I don't want it. Can I decline? What is that? What is that supposed to mean? So what? She's going to pull something out of her arse now? Okay, bye. I guess. I have no idea, Maya. I don't know what's going on and I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> very cryptic. Gumshoe. <laughs> okay... Okay. <laughs> what is... Guys, was this just another drunken night from the writer? Him choosing milk as Max's little token he's known for? Or is there an underlying meaning to this? Like, what is the reason? And also, what kind of milk? This game was... It's about over 20 years old now. So I'm assuming it wasn't dairy or almond milk, soy milk, oat milk, any of the milks we have now that I consider to be nut water because that's what they are. Now, granted, I'm not hating on the nut water, okay? I'd be drinking some almond milk in my coffee because it's like no calories, but I'm just wondering what kind of milk. Are we talking about fat-free, whole milk? I just want to know. But apparently we will not find out. So maybe they're saving that for after the trial. <laughs> Okay, Acro is still there. 
And it looks like we will be hearing from him yet again. Okay. 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 Proof. Proof of what? Ah, yes. Okay, okay. Alright, guys. Oh, Phoenix, what's going on? What is going on with us? Hello? Okay, cool. No problem. Alright, Acro, what, what do you got to say now? We, him and Bat. Right? Love that for you. By killing him. Period. Period. That's your testimony? Um, okay. I guess. Okay. Because that's what the evidence shows, Francisca. And you know what I want to bring up right now as well? Several of you are so freaking smart and thought about the fact that we have to prove a motive for someone else t to have killed the victim when all of the evidence points to them doing it, yet Francisca does not have to provide a motive for Max killing Russell. And I thought that was a really good point. I'm sure the answer is just because of the Japanese legal system and what this is based off of and yada, yada, yada. But I thought that was a good point and kind of messed up. Okay. Judge, did we just forget about everything that happened in the last trial? Like, what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> Seriously? Questions like this are so annoying because it's like, bro, like I know this is a video game, but if this happened in real life, that would just be so incredibly idiotic to say. We're going to get an answer. We're going to get an answer. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, bro. BFFR. <laughs> what happens if you choose no, honestly? Is it like an instant death? I don't know. Tactless. Okay, okay. Expanded the vocabulary, Francisca. Oh, I don't care about justice? Girl, I almost just cussed at you. Don't, don't try me like that. Okay, excellent. Here we go. And I now know I can press everything, and we shall. Hold it! Oh, and we have seven life. Not terrible. Not terrible. Okay, okay. Yes, Judge, why is this news? People have brothers. Okay, okay. Hmm. Okay, I love, I love when we can take appreciation in the traumas we've dealt with and where they ended up getting us to, even though y'all still did not deserve to be abandoned. Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> Honestly, you guys, I'm not even mad at that one. I'm not! I'm not mad at that one because why are you as a judge crying? Like... And it wasn't even that sad. Okay, anyways. <laughs> I'm dead. An uncle, a father, and a big brother all rolled up into one. Wow, what a sentiment. Okay. What about Regina? If he was your father, uncle, and brother, does that make her your sister, cousin, and niece? <laughs> okay. Period. Okay. 
Oh, you thanked him, all right. Maya, stay with me, Maya. It's too late to be straying. I mean, too early to be straying. <laughs> all right. Cool, cool. That is quite early, honestly. Okay. That's freaking awesome. The flying, dingling berries. I mean, that's, yeah. If there was any question, that's obviously a play on the flying, ringling brothers. I love it. I love it. Oh, period. <laughs> okay. So didn't you pay him back then by working for presumably free? Acro? Oh God, we have too many fathers already. We don't need another one. Thank you, Judge. Okay, this is our last statement. I don't know because I'm cross-examining him? What else do you expect me to ask? Okay, all right. Objection, counsel testifying? Like, sir. You know, I would say I cannot wait until we're done with Francisca, but something tells me she's going to be around for a long, long time. Oh. Okay, well... <laughs> so he agrees with you and you still whip him into oblivion. I actually can't stand you. Okay, that's not a verdict. Calm down. Hold your freaking horses. Maya, respectfully, fork off. I don't care about your opinion right now if that's what your opinion is. Seriously? Hello? The evidence? What is our what is our alternative, guys? Like, what are we doing right now? What are we doing? Is there another witness or something? Okay. What? Oh God. Okay. Here we freaking go with these questions, bro. The only thing, this would be so dumb though, but the only thing I can think of that I can prove right now is he hated Regina so much that he wanted to kill Russell to get back at her, which is stupid. <sighs> Can I provide an explanation as to why Acre would want the ringmaster dead? The only other thing I can think of that I mentioned in the last video as well is Acre was being severely underpaid and saw the paperwork belonging to Max which I can show you guys this regarding his enormous salary raise. But again, not a reason to kill someone. But what am I going to say? No. Okay. Well, I guess that's my answer, isn't it? I'm sure it will be. <laughs> Okay. So those are my two options I can think of are this paper and Regina. So I'm going to start with this paper because that seems like the most likely, even though both of them are not likely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Not looking good. Okay. Well. 
Wow. Honestly, all of you guys can... <laughs> all of you guys can suck it. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm gonna present Regina, and then maybe if I if that's not the answer, I'm gonna have to say I don't have evidence, but like that just never seems to be the right choice, like honestly. Really, Judge? Have you met your prosecutor, babe? Open your eyes, get some glasses. I have an eye appointment next week. You can tag along if you want. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Okay. Cause what other options? as far as evidence for a motive. Yeah, I don't... Hi, Winston. Have you come to help us with our motive? Why do you look high? Okay, I think Winston got into some catnip, guys. Scarf? Could the scarf be motive? I don't think so. Ugh. Okay, okay. Let's present Regina. Okay. Mm. Not great. Not great. Not great. But why else would we have the scarf? Why else would we have the scarf, guys? that we literally just got as Gumshoe's secret evidence. We're gonna, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna present this scarf, and if it's not the scarf, we're gonna press we don't have um, evidence or whatever. Oh God, are you serious? So do we just not have evidence then? That just seems like, I hate choosing that answer. It feels, it feels wrong. Okay, give up presenting things. What? Okay. That doesn't seem like a good explanation for a trial. Okay, period. of this <laughs> which it's still unbelievable okay so one of you guys did comment on my last video and perhaps I should add theories to the list of things not to put in my comment section because this person did not spoil anything intentionally they genuinely haven't played the game and theorized this to be true and it's sounding like it might be true so here's the new theory he was trying to kill Regina, but like, guys, that would be so absolutely mind-blowingly bonkers for you to try to murder a child. Like, I'm so sorry. That... God. God. Okay, let's just, let's just press on. Let's just press on. Uh. Oh god. Guys, I no. Oh my god. I Why does that feel worse? Like if that's the case and he was intending to kill Regina, why does that feel way worse like night and day worse than russell uh. huh what what come
come again? What is happening? I don't know why, but Franziska's whipping stresses me out so much. Because what is wrong with you? Why are you whipping the judge? At least have a reason. At least have a reason. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Alright guys, this is for all the marbles. Are you attempting to imply that Acro was trying to kill someone else? So this is weird because the answer is yes or no. Yet, I have to present evidence. That was just poorly worded, but okay. Um, I'm guessing this is where I would present Regina. Or the scarf, but probably Regina. <sighs> yeah. 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 That's so crazy, though! Okay, first of all, this is a cross-examination. That's quite literally the time to ask leading questions. I know you literally haven't actually paid a single lick of attention in law school to know that, but you're the one that can't ask leading questions, Francisca, because it's your witness. I'm allowed to. Objection. If something being mean-spirited is not an objection. That's it. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I mean, if you're asking for it, Francisca, I'm happy to issue the death penalty to you. I really have no problem with that. <laughs> the judge really said, uh huh. What are you gonna do? Okay, the scarf? The scarf. Or the evidence is bat. Okay, guys, because I think both of those are good options and I really don't want to die. I mean, it wouldn't be a huge deal if I did, but I just don't want to. I'm just trying to think, would the scarf or would presenting bat prove it more? Because it's very possible that both of those are the correct answers, because I know Ace Attorney likes to do that. That proves Acro was out to kill this young girl. Oh, wait! Maybe it's the freaking note! It's the note. It's the note. It's the note. It's the note. Okay. Mm-hmm. Correct. Ironically. Yep. No. Regina's pocket. Okay, I'm sorry. So we're claiming that Acro placed that note into Regina's pocket without her knowing, which which did happen, so that Regina would hopefully pull it out, not know where it came from, and then just show up. sorry if i find a note in my pocket addressing me as the murderer knowing dang well i did not kill anyone and requesting i show up anywhere i will simply not be going just me just me oh, god this is crazy you guys oh I didn't see this coming because up till now, all of the victims, that has been the intended victim, right? Unless I'm forgetting something, but like, 
whoever got murdered, there was a reason. We just had to find the motive. But plot twist, the person who got murdered was not the person who was supposed to get murdered. That's crazy. That's crazy. Jesus Christ. Then why would it be in your pocket, Regina? Like, what is the logic? Uh, oh my God. Someone please do not tell Regina this because it, ugh. if she comprehends what that means that her father died in her place, she's going to lose her mind. And we just don't need that. Oh. Okay, huh? Right? Right? So there's no way he would have known for sure who was underneath the window. That is so freaking messed up. Bro. That is so messed up. Oh my God. Crap. I forgot Regina was freaking here. Oh my God. Regina. She can't. She can't handle it. Okay, so this is the scarf. Which she's not. Like, guys, you can't be charged with murder as long as someone's in a coma because they're alive. Like, she's quite literally, by definition, not a murderer. I love challenging Francisca. It's honestly one of my favorite hobbies. <laughs> tea! Tea! Okay. So the ringmaster knew that someone wanted to confront Regina and was going to protect her. Oh, that is really sad. It is. Like, ugh. All of it is sad, though. The Leon accident is sad. This death is sad. Everything is sad. Oh, God. I almost just pressed something. With one piece of life, we sure are. Unfortunately, it does, Your Honor. Unfortunately, it does. Alright, what do you want to know first? Okay, scarf. I'm sure you would. <sighs> okay. I mean, it's probably the scarf, right guys? Yeah, it has to be the scarf. Is it not? <gasps> oh my god, stop it right now. You're joking. You're joking. You're joking. You're joking. You're joking. You're joking. Well. You know what? Dying one more time in Turnabout Big Top is simply a rite of passage. I'm okay with that. I'm we had to get one more guilty verdict in, okay? We just had to. And y'all know the drill at this point. I will be right back. <laughs> and we're back. Okay, so being that this scarf is not the conclusive evidence, I have two options that are readily available to me. 
The first one that I'm probably going to start with is Bat. I mean, what more conclusive evidence can there be other than the man who's literally in a coma? But again, there was no murder. So that's weird. The other option would be the pepper, but like, I don't know, kind of strange. Also, quick shout out. I was going way back in my unread or unresponded to comments today. And somebody commented that by pressing up and down, I can skip entire pages of evidence, which I literally did not know. So if that's not proof that I'm still going back and answering all of my comments, you guys, like I really do try to answer all of y'all's comments and I thoroughly appreciate you for leaving them. So with that being said, I think we are going to do that. Oh my God. Okay. 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 Let's be, what is happening? Conclusive evidence about the ins Okay, so then it's Leon. But again, that's not conclusive. Wait. No, 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 no. No. Unless he's referring to the murder being the murder of Leon. Why would he care about that? Leon literally ruined him and his brother's life. This is weird, but Leon is my best guess, honestly. Are you serious? Brother. Okay. I'm... The conclu... Okay, let me really think about this. The conclusive evidence about the incident six months ago. Okay, let's say it is the pepper. How is that conclusive? Wait, okay, but there was pepper on the scarf. Because why was there pepper on the scarf? A small quantity of pepper. It has to be the pepper. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right. How would, how did he know the pepper was inside the box though? No one has died. What are we talking about? Did I forget somebody who died other than Russell, you guys? Like, what are y'all talking about? Other than Leon. Period, Francisca. What? What? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. What do you mean? Regina was trying to kill someone with pepper. What is going on? Okay. Hold on. Who would she be trying to kill with pepper? I mean, I guess the answer is bat because of this, but like, why would he die from pepper? And of all people to try to kill, of all of the adult men fawning after Regina, the 16 year old girl, you choose Bat to try to murder? Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I gotta just think about this for a second. It was six months ago, so it had to be, it had to be Bat.
And that's like the only person Acro would really like defend this hard. But why? Did I forget Bat being allergic to Pepper? I don't think so. Considering he was the one teasing Regina with it. I guess. that but what does this have to do with the pepper hi Franklin welcome to the video your brother has decided to sit at the end of the bed and not be seen but I will be scooping you up thank you oh everybody say hi to Frankie he's come to help us solve the case Mwah. thank you Frankie <laughs> Okay. Correct. Uh huh. Okay. Correct. I agree with for, for the first time. I agree with everything Francisca is saying. So, what am I missing here? Yeah. Maya, I'm not even going along with my theory. Oh, God. Why? <sighs> Guys, I don't have anything in my mind I can recall. That proves that this was not an accident that Regina attempted. Wait. Oh. oh my God. Okay. Did Regina put Pepper on Acro's scarf knowing Acro was going to stick his head inside of Leon's mouth, right near Leon's nose, where he knew Leon would sneeze and then have to chomp down. Oh my God. What? What? Why? Why? Would she do that? Why would she do that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. She didn't have to, Francisca. She didn't have to. Okay, this is the scarf. You guys, I am freaking shook right now. <laughs> Bro, oh my freaking god i am unwell right now holy freaking crap oh 
Frankie, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this, Frankie? Oh my god! Oh my god. That is literally insane. She is crazy. And she's sitting here listening to all of this right now. Yeah, yeah, me too, guys. Me too. Oh my god. Sir, get away from me. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I think I think there's a pretty easy way to connect what she did to attempted murder. I I do. I I think I think it. Uh, yeah. Knowing that sh there was a dare in place for him to stick his head into Leon's mouth, or knowing she was going to dare him to do that, knowing that he wanted to take her on a date so badly he would do anything she asked. It was said. That was said. Okay. I'm just trying to picture, like, do people do that before they sneeze? Like, ha, ha, ha. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I don't smile before I sneeze, but... Yeah. Apparently so, Judge. Apparently so. God, guys, I'm unwell right now. Oh my god. Bro, Regina, freaking why, dude? Like, why? Why, Regina? Why, 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 why? <sighs> yeah, same here. <laughs> Duly noted, Francisca. <laughs> Yes, I believe the truth. I'm sorry that you find it impossible to see it. Yes. I cannot, bro. I literally cannot. Oh my god. Oh. Hmm. What? What is happening right now? Why? Why is it hard to swallow, Acro? What? Now I'm getting sassy all of a sudden. What do you mean, dude? The murder weapon that's currently in my possession right now? Hmm. 
What, he can't wash it off? What is that supposed to mean, Francisca? I don't trust your search of his room. What is wrong with you? Really? Really? You think of all people you're above hiding evidence? Have you met yourself? So where was it, Acro? like really don't like him <laughs> like I don't like like he's like nice and then flips to being super condescending and then nice and then flips again like I don't like that is it in the box happening, bro. Ew. Guys, what is going on right now? Oh, God. Oh, God. Maya, I freaking knew it. Maya, what do you have, girl? <laughs> oh my god, what is going on? What? know what is going on right now no literally sink or swim i have one piece of life left hello oh my god oh oh god oh god i don't know i don't know where it is frick okay i feel like it's not in the Okay, okay, okay. See, here's what's confusing to me. I thought all of this evidence was in my possession. Oh, but this is a picture of the bust. That makes sense. So I don't, ha I never had the actual bust, just a photo of it. So guys, the only place I can think of is it's in this box. Oh yeah. Cause I'm like, oh, that makes sense as to why it's so heavy because it has a bust in it, but they said it was iron lined. So that would explain 
the weight. Oh, why would you walk? Okay, oh my lord Jesus. Guys, the only thing I can think of is the box. If it's in the lodging house, I... It would have to be in the ringmaster's room or somewhere outside or in Acro's room, which it's apparently not, or in Moe's room, which I don't think it's in. I think it might be in this box, you guys. But wasn't the box unlocked? Like, the box has been unlocked. Maybe it's not unlocked right now. But it can't... Oh my god. It can't be in the box. Because they opened the box. They Gumshoe made this whole thing, I'm pretty sure, about them having to get the box open. And they found Pepper inside the box. So how would the bus also be in the box? Unless it's in a separate area. Maybe they didn't look. Maybe it, it was like at the bottom of the box and it had like a cover with a little place for the pepper. Maybe the pepper was a distraction in case they ever did get the box open, they would see the pepper and move on and not look farther. Guys, this is my best guess It's in this dang box. That is my best guess. And I think that's a good explanation, so we're going for it. Okay, here we go. Oh, wait, what? Oh my god. The judge's bench, the prosecutor's bench, or the witness stand? Where is the box in those three places? Does the prosecutor have all the evidence? Bro, I don't know. This is not a fair question. You should have had me pick the box out. Well, I don't think it's the witness stand. We had the box well before we even met Acro, I'm pretty sure. It's not with him. The judge's bench or the prosecutor's bench. It would make sense if it was with the judge's bench because the judge is typically the holder of the evidence, like the court. Once the prosecution or the defense submit evidence, enter evidence, then it goes into the possession of the court, which would be the judge. But I feel like in this weird world, the prosecutor has all the evidence. But she doesn't because I have, this is my evidence folder, right? God. I'm, this is, this is a dumb question. But this is the stuff that I possess. So I feel like it makes sense to go with the judge because like, Francisca does not have possession of the box. Unless it's not in the box. Because if we pick the prosecutor's bench, then we can allege that she took the bust from Acro's room and has it with her, but why would she bring it to court? That doesn't make sense. All right, guys, I'm not confident with this at all. If I die, I die, okay? I, I, D, I, D, because I'm gonna choose the judge's bench because that's what makes the most sense to me. Uh, but that is, I don't like that either. Like, the judge's bench feels like a trick answer for some reason. Like, it's so stupid to say the judge has it, but that's how it works in real life. But this isn't real life. such an incredibly, incredibly stupid question. I'm so sorry. That was so dumb. 
Whatever, dude. I will see y'all in a second. And we're back. And I guess we're gonna choose the prosecutor's bench because again, I simply do not believe it is at the witness stand. Luckily, we have enough life to be wrong. Oh, wow. Wait, actually? I really hope to live to see the day Francisca gets arrested. I really do. Like, I, more than anything at this point. Hello? Hello? No! Oh my god. What is... Literally, what was the reason? Literally, what was the reason? Oh my god, okay? How is it at the freaking witness stand, bro? How is it at the witness stand? Unless, oh, it's not in the courtroom. I see, I see, I see. Well, that means there's a very likely chance of us dying again because I don't know where it is. Somewhere in the lodging house, somewhere in the big top, it could be, it could be in the big top. I mean, there's a lot of places there and there might have been some dialogue in the beginning of the case about something that I just don't remember because it was in the beginning of the case. If it was in the lodging room, my best guess is it's in Moe's room. If they're telling the truth about it not being in Acro's room, could it be in the ringmaster's room? Oh my God, bro. I don't remember what all these places look like and where all of their hidey holes are. Gosh freaking darn it. <sighs> okay. I feel like it's somewhere in the lodging house. Because how would, how would, okay, let's think about it this way. How would Acro have hidden this bust, right? Because if he can't leave his room without assistance and he had no accomplice, it has to be in the lodging house. It can't be in the big top. How would it have gotten there? So if it's not in the box, which I thought was a very good theory, then it has to be in the lodging house. That's what we're going with. Oh no, 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 no. In the plaza near the scene, in the plaza near the scene, where would it be? if it was in the plaza near the scene. I remember there being like an AC thing outside, but other than that, it was just the wooden box and snow. Now, <sighs> here's the thing. We allegedly have this wooden box in our possession, right? Cause you can make the, I, I think it would be very, I think it would be very logical if the wooden box was still at the crime scene because again i do think it's in the wooden box but a, uh, the wooden box is not at the crime scene anymore it's it's with me i have the wooden box so i i don't think <sighs> so okay god guys like i just cannot i guess it's in mo's room or it's in acro's room but how would it have gotten to mo's room like it has to be in acro's room but where in Acro's room? I'm picking Acro's room. It has to be. It has to be. This game is like so stupid right now. <laughs> BRB. Hello all. Um, yeah, at this point we're just guessing like if this is another instance like the last video where they just expected me to remember Mo's testimony, which was on a much smaller scale, it appears, unless I'm missing something, that they're now expecting me to remember very specific elements from one of the first investigations. 
I don't remember everything in those rooms. I have no idea. So we already chose Matt Acro's room. We're gonna choose, we'll choose in the plaza near the scene. Why not? I mean, literally we have nothing to lose other than time. <laughs> I don't know, Francisca. I literally don't know. Phoenix. Phoenix. Also, if you can hear my cat meowing, he's being very disrespectful and demanding food right now. So just ignore that. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to choose Moe's room. And if it's not there, then I guess it's in the big top. But like, if it takes me out, though, I might choose it's in the big top. Okay, let's choose it. Why not? So we still have Moe's room left as an option. In the center ring, in the cafeteria, in the ringmaster's room. Why did I think the ringmaster's... I forgot the ringmaster's room was in the big top. I thought it was in the lodging house. Maybe it's in the ringmaster's room. Or maybe it's in the cafeteria. Let's choose the ringmaster's room. Should we choose the ringmaster's room? Let's choose it. I don't have time to overthink this crap. I don't freaking remember. I mean, you can stake your life on it if you want. Maya, I can't. I, I literally don't have the, enough life to think things over. All right, guys, I will see you for what I believe is round four. Okay, at this point, we have three options left, I think. Unless, did we not choose the witness stand? I can't even remember at this point. We might have that option too, but if we don't, we have three options left. We have Acro's room in the lodging house, and then we have the center stage and the cafeteria in the big top. I'm feeling like the cafeteria is the most likely out of those options. So I'm just gonna choose the cafeteria. Like, I j guys, I don't know. I'm excited to determine whether I, after I find all of this out, whether this was in fact really stupid or whether I'm being stupid. I'm genuinely not sure. Hmm. Yeah, that didn't feel like a good explanation. Okay, thank you, Maya. <laughs> Mon Karma, where did you not go over then? Like, where did you not... <sighs> okay, so we have Moe's room and the center stage left. Let's choose Moe's room! This is so dumb. God, this case has been exhausting, to say the least. I will say that. Awesome. See y'all in a bit. I'm very happy to announce that it appears we only have two options left, I believe. And if it's neither one of these two options, before this question, it said, see how this all plays out or search Acro's room. Perhaps I was supposed to see how this all plays out, but what is the fun in that? So we've done everything in the lodging house. Let's go back to the big top. And we shall choose our remaining option in the center ring, whatever that means. Okay, this does not appear to be the right answer. Bro, please. Phoenix, be, be serious. Like, be a little serious. Oh my god. Okay, well then we either have one option left, uh and we didn't actually choose the witness stand or it's genuinely like it was the answer before this, but that would be dumb because it would have taken me back there. Right? Right? Here we go. Oh, <gasps> 
You're, are you serious? What blanket? What blanket? What blanket? Do y'all see a blanket? What? Guys, look at this scene and show me where the blanket is. Show me where the freaking blanket is. Show me. I'll wait. Oh, there's no blanket? Okay, so what are we talking about? <gasps> You're joking. There's actually no way. I'm so sorry. I'm... I supposed to know that this man had a blanket on him behind the witness stand when it was not visible to me during any part of the trial. Guys, okay, listen, listen, listen. If I'm missing something, I will happily own up to it, and I hope I am, because if I'm not missing something, this is quite literally the dumbest thing I have ever seen in my entire literal life. And if this, if this, along with everything else we've had to endure in this case, but if this is the reason all of you said this case is the worst, I am right there with you. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my God. I'm actually mad right Even enjoy this right now. <laughs> Maya, he means Maya Phoenix. Absolutely not. Do not ever put me in the same sentence with that witch. Don't do it. Francisca did absolutely nothing to help. What is wrong with all of you? Oh my god. think about until now what happened to the cloak T that's crazy Ziska is getting any credit right now is <laughs> 
guys. What? I'm so happy we are all here together. Okay, okay, okay. I can't remember who dared Bat to stick his head inside of Leon's mouth, though. Was that not Regina? Hmm. No, you're, you're guilty of murder. Like, I, I'm sorry. I have no sympathy for you. I just don't. Okay, I wouldn't say I have no sympathy for him, but I have very little sympathy sympathy for him. Oh my god. Period. Couldn't agree more. Oh my god! Whoa! Trigger warning! Jesus! I guess that's not the first reference to unaliving in this game, but still, that was a little much. <laughs> At least he feels remorse. That's more than a lot of these freaking characters can say half the time. You don't say. Yeah, how metaphorical. Wait, no, I have to screenshot that. That's, I'm gonna frame that and put it on my wall. I'm gonna set that as my computer lock screen. <laughs> Honestly? <laughs> oh my god. Thank god. Wow, guys, never thought we'd get here. Oh yes, right in time for the afternoon traffic. Hi Max, yes, thank you so much. Excuse me? Yeah, that's a lot of victims, honestly. Um, not sure about that one. I mean, I guess Afro wasn't, quote, a bad person, quote, before this, but like, does murdering someone make you a bad person? I guess I'll let y'all decide that one. Hi, Mo. Thank you so much for not being involved with this, Mo. Hi, Regina. Yeah, girl. Yeah, let it out. Let it out, queen. Let it out. <laughs> yeah. Therapy? Therapy. A lot of therapy. They're not. They're, they're, yeah, they're gone, babe. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Regina was kind of responsible for the demise of the circus. Like, had, like, okay. Max would not have been 
a defendant in a murder trial had Acro not tried to frame him, but Acro would not have tried to frame Max had Bat not been put in a coma, but Bat would not have been put in a coma had Regina not put Pepper on his scarf. And then pretend like I had the ringmaster somewhere in that conclusion. <laughs> Um, not of course he is. Oh my god, game, what is wrong with you? Regina, he's literally about to, like, no offense, but he's about to be taken out back and shot like Leon. Like, girl, he's getting the death penalty. Do you not know where you are? <laughs> Okay, no, we're no, no. The evidence is the the not guilty verdict for Max. Oh my god. Girl, what do you want from me? No more evidence. Girl. I don't know what to tell you. Bat? Wow, that was actually the right answer. And not according to freaking Acro! You'll do what? Okay. Babe, the only place he's meeting Acro is if he does not open his eyes again. I'm gonna be so incredibly honest with you. <laughs> like, oof. Acro about to become a star, baby. Oh, God. Wow. Let's see. Good job, Mo. Good for you, Max, honestly. Hmm. Well, that's nice. For you, Mo. Good for you. I love that for you. Well, Max, you're gonna have to be part of that. <laughs> mm-hmm. How did I know? How did I know? I love it. Only took a couple murders to bring everybody together. Oh, God. Somebody get this girl a psychologist. Yeah, that's why you brought her to court. Not to prove to her what death is or whatever weird thing you said last video. I guess so. Now let's go clean our office. <laughs> What's gonna happy with, happen with Ben and Trillo? <laughs> okay. Alright, Mo. Thank you so much. This is some weird music. What the heck? Wait, what?
no, 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 no. I don't even have time to process that because I still haven't just processed that. What? Oh my God. Edge, okay. Before we get into what that just was, it looks like the next episode will involve Edgeworth finally and will be called Farewell, My Turnabout. Interestingly enough, y'all, this episode was filled with so much more shock than I expected. I thought this was going to be a quick little summation and instead what the frick so edgeworth edgeworth was in on this the whole time he guided gumshoe to the surprise raid and he said i knew it would all work out this way or something like that especially with him as the defense attorney Ed. so edgeworth was trying to help me Okay, uh, God, I cannot wait to get into the next case, you guys. Holy freaking crap. What happened? Wait, no, because Phoenix and Edgeworth have beef right now. Oh, I can't wait. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and for sticking through that with me, even though even though today's video was filled with pure stupidity in multiple forms, it was worth it. It was all worth it. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. I cannot freaking wait. You're definitely going to want to come back to the next video and I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Goodbye and go thrive.